Hello everyone and welcome back to Sketch by Sketch. Today I saw this really cute reference photo and I just had to draw it. Sometimes you just see something and you really want to draw it so I know it was quick there but the girl is um, drinking a uh, glass bottle of coke and as you can see sort of on the side I just did a Pepsi illustration that wasn't a video I just kind of did it on my own so I, I kind of just wanted to do a drawing inspired by coca-cola I just think it's really cute and especially like um, you'll see it in a little bit I kind of put a vintage spin on it kind of a 70s vibe and I think it's really really adorable so this was such a fun idea I thought um, and I definitely would like to do it again honestly um, just because I had so much fun filming this but um, what I'm doing here I've got my ELO sketchbook um, and I'm starting to sketch out the body here I'm having her sitting on the ground just like the reference photo and I'm using a Prismacolor Color Erase to sketch if you're wondering. I really wanted to do this as well because it was more of a different pose instead of someone just standing there. I haven't been drawing as much recently so I'm kind of wanting to get back into it and just kind of practice a little bit and drawing a pose like this really uh, causes you to be light with your pencil and really just kind of loose to work out in the drawing. It was actually a lot harder to draw the coke bottle than I thought it would be. I don't know why. Just getting the shape of it down was just a little bit hard. But I think um, it's sort of recognizable and then you'll see in a bit. I put the giant Coca-Cola label in the background just so you for sure know what it is and understand the picture. So that's what I'm working on there. And also drawing the mouth and the face at this angle was a little bit hard. But again, it's always fun to learn something new and work on this. Alright, now I'm working on the hairstyle. I decided to go with a really kind of layered, um, sort of curly hairstyle, kind of like the picture, and then kind of clipped back on one side. I think this is so adorable, and I had a lot of fun just drawing the uh, layers of hair. I just think that it looks really pretty, and um, definitely just really flowy, just the way that it's kind of goes in pieces, as you can see there. And right here I'm just writing the Coca-Cola um, label in the background, um, again just because I thought it was really cute, and on the other side you can see I wrote Pepsi, so I just thought um, it'd be really fun to just kind of do that as the background. Alright, now I'm just trying to sketch out the body here, um, drawing in the legs and everything, and I decided to go for some flared jeans, which is a little bit hard to see that they are flared just because of the setting position, but um, I kind of tried to add the folds in the fabric and how they would fall if they were like bell bottoms or flares, so I thought that was pretty cute. And then I also added flared sleeves and kind of like a wrap top. Um, definitely going for a 70s look like I said, so um, kind of taking inspiration from some 70s fashion. And then I made the jeans super high-waisted um, with uh, lots of buttons, so I thought that was really cute.
Alright, now I've lightened up the sketch and I'm going to go in with a uh, now red uh, colored pencil. I've sharpened it and now I'm going in and just kind of uh, making almost like line art and then shading certain pieces. This piece is not going to have line art today. I wanted to try this out as a technique that I don't do very often and I've seen a lot of people do it so I wanted to just kind of try it out. So that's what I'm doing here. I'm just kind of trying to be very careful where I put everything, make it look um, like it is standing out, everything is outlined a little bit better, um, and we want to do this kind of dark so it doesn't fade when I start coloring. Speaking of coloring, here are my Ahuhu markers. I typically use them in my sketchbook, so that is what I'm going to be using today. This is also kind of a mixed media um, drawing, so I'm going to be using some colored pencils as well as we get into this further. I'm starting this drawing out by using this pink tone to just kind of uh, put where shadows are going to be. I want this whole drawing to have a kind of pink tone to it, pink and red, um, to match the Coca-Cola. So I went ahead and used more pink than I normally would. Um, and I'm trying to be very careful not to really go over these lines too much because they will start to kind of smudge and fade away. Just kind of being more mindful of it because it's not actual liner, it is a pencil. And I think that this pink really adds a nice tone to the skin. It almost looks like it's um, around a sunset um, and the sun is kind of creating a glow on the skin. Um, I think it's really pretty and makes the skin really look glowy and pink. Alright guys, I am so sorry. Um, I ended up pausing um, the video to uh, charge my iPad and then when I went back to coloring, I forgot to turn it back on while I was coloring the skin and the hair. So I'm so sorry, that was like the most fun part of the video, coloring the skin and hair, but I totally lost it. Um, so I'm really sorry about that, but we're going to keep drawing here. I'm going to do the jeans. If you're wondering how I did the skin and the hair, um, I have plenty of videos on how I color with markers, but today I did use a little bit of colored pencil just to kind of make everything pop. And I outlined the eyes and the lips just to, you know, really reinforce the um, look of the pencil liner. All right, I'm going for some really blue jeans here. I went for a kind of sky blue. I really want these to pop, so um, that is the colors that I'm using today for the jeans. I usually don't go this blue, but I thought um, for the whole vibe of this drawing, it needed to be. I'm really trying to shade everything in the proper places and really make it look like these bell bottom jeans um, have the folds in them and the shadows are in the right place. So kind of trying to work on that recently, not just putting shadows here, there, and everywhere, just trying to think about where they would actually be. And I think it really makes your art look um, more professional um, without putting too much more effort into it. Just kind of really thinking about um, where your shadows and highlights are.
And again, like I said, I'm going to be going in with a colored pencil. Uh, make sure you do the colored pencil after you're done with the markers because um, once you've put the pencil on, you do not want to layer markers on top. So make sure to do the pencil last. And I'm just kind of using it as a mid-range blending point to kind of blend in that darker blue with the lighter. And then adding a little bit of texture. I decided to go with a bright red for the top just to kind of tie our color scheme in. I think this red looks really pretty against the sky blue jeans and the blonde hair. I just really, really love this combo. going in with my red colored pencil to add just a little bit more shadows and then now I'm going to go in with a white colored pencil and add some highlights. It's a little bit hard to keep um, white highlights on a red uh, color so I usually like to go in with a paint pen or a white colored pencil um, in this case. Now, just for the f final details, I have to color in the Coke bottle. This is a little bit hard because um, I couldn't get the color quite right, but um, it's fine. I think you still know what it is for sure. Um, I just had a hard time choosing the color. Um, and then I'm going to uh, outline that with a brown colored pencil on the parts where you can see the Coke. And then I'm going to take a light blue um, around where the glass is showing through just so uh, you can kind of tell that it's a glass bottle. And then I added some little circles for bubbles. <laughs> Thank you. 
And now I have to color in the logo in the background here. I think this is really what is tying this all together, these little details like this. And I'm using the same color I used on the shirt so that it all looks cohesive and looks nice together. I'm going to go in with that lighter color now and just kind of create that shadow effect, look, make it look 3D. I think this is really what made it pop and look really cool. Now, just the, again, more little details. I'm going to uh, create some stars and I colored in her gold jewelry. And now the last step is just add a little bit of shadow under where she's sitting just to kind of tie it all in together. I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. I had a lot of fun with this one. Uh, this is definitely one of my favorite drawings I've done um, recently. So I hope you enjoyed watching. Let me know what you want to see next. If you want to um, see that Pepsi drawing over there or something similar or if there's another brand that you'd like to see me do a drawing of. I thought this was just a really cool idea and I had a lot of fun doing it. So I hope you guys enjoy and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!